Well, what's up, y'all? Um, yeah, I'm back. If you guys didn't know, I recently just got hacked by a weird account. It was like some SpaceX NASA people or whatever. They actually live streamed for like a couple hours. And they pulled a lot of people in there. It was like 3,000 people in there. It's probably bots, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. It was pretty crazy. Uh, it was some nerve-wracking stuff. This was this was a weird situation for me. You know, it, uh, guys, this made me think like, hey, don't ever really try to take YouTube for granted because anything can happen, bro. I'm not even a big channel, and I already got hacked. It's like if if something goes on, if you're like doing something, you're doing pretty well. Something's or somebody's gonna take it from you. Um, so I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I got hacked and, and why it happened. So first off, it was like five in the morning when I got hacked, by the way. So I was asleep. I was knocked out in the bed, bro. Um, Nigel called me on the phone, which is Slipper Chino. Um, he called me on the phone and he was like, yo, you got hacked, bro. I'm like, what? And then mind you, it's already nine o'clock in the morning and he was like yo you know i was getting i was getting spams on my phone a lot and i'm just like dang bro like how many he was like 10 notifications of you going live but it's not you it's like some elon musk type video so i'm like what so i'm like yo this is this is crazy i go on my account and i try to put my password in and it's like nah you're not getting in there bro you are not getting in your account so after I tried to get in my account, it said it had a security key. It said it had an eight-digit pin that I had to put in from, like, backup codes. And I'm like, bro, what is all this? This person bought a security key just to put it on my account. And I'm like, bro, those are, like, $60, $70. Because I just looked it up not too long ago. It's, like, $60, $70. So I'm like, yo, he's really trying his hardest to get my account right now. Like, yo, how did this even happen? Um, Guys, I got an email. I'm going to tell you exactly what you should do if you get an email from anybody a sponsor or not don't click on any links don't download any files where i messed up was i clicked on the link but it automatically downloaded and mind you my firewall i had it turned off because i was downloading other things and i it didn't click that hey maybe you need to turn it back on so generally speaking um but i mean it, it definitely looked believable so i can't you know, it it's not something you can really blame because it I fell for it and and I'm pretty sure other people have as well. But yes. Um basically what happened was I clicked on the link and it automatically downloaded. It. So I'm like, hey, I didn't I didn't think nothing of it. It didn't my computer didn't pop nothing up or anything because remind you I have firewall turned off. So I open it it's a PDF file. I open it. It's not opening. I'm like, what? I was a PDF file not opening. It makes no sense. So I spam it. I'm spamming it. I'm, it's opening. It's opening. And nothing still opens. So I go on my task manager to look at the PDF file, right? It says it's open, but it's not open. And I'm like, this is very confusing. So then I went and I decided, okay, let's wind zip it and open it up to see if this actually is a PDF file. So I wind zipped it and opened it up and my, it said screensaver. I was like, how can a PDF file be a screensaver? So basically what happened was this hacker had put a PDF file as a disguise. It's basically disguised as a PDF file, but really it's a screensaver. So basically what they're doing is they're watching your screen the whole entire time with the screensaver that they put up there. And mind you, when I figured this out, this was hours after. So he's probably already, you know, infiltrated and all that. And it's already like 3 o'clock in the morning. So that's when I decided to go to sleep. And two hours later, he hacks me. Two hours later. That basically is what happened. He hacked me two hours later. And it didn't click until the morning. I'm like, yo, this was a screensaver the whole entire time. He's looking through my screen. He could probably even see through the camera, which is the crazy part. But, um... Yeah, guys, just make sure you watch out for emails. You watch out for links. Don't click on anything, anything that looks suspicious, bro. They literally can, bro, 
I was sleep. I didn't get no notification, no two fa you know, two factor authentication, none of that. It it just didn't go off. Nothing went off. It just he slid right into there and I'm just like I'm just sleep, you know, getting my dreams in and stuff like that. So yeah, bro. Um so when I woke up and Naja was on the phone with me. Uh, first, first things first. I'm devastated. I'm, I'm, I'm like, bro, what do I do? If I, I can't even get back in my account. What do I do? What exactly do I do? So, um, my buddy Naja comes over. He decides, hey man, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna try to help you in this situation because I, these, these are, this is a tough situation. I could imagine what you're going through. So he comes over for a few hours and, you know, me and him are talking and and he helps me. Um, so we're tweeting out at Twitter. Because um, that's what everybody were saying. They were like, hey, man, you need to go to Twitter and tweet to Twitter. And I tried to talk to my buddy Votex, and he actually helped me as well. Because Twitter has sent me a DM. I had DM to, I have literally spammed Twitter like a million times. And shout out to Tholian. He actually helped me out as well. Tholian has helped me out a lot. I had asked him some questions as well because I remember he got hacked. And I had hit him up not too long ago. Well, literally, like, as I got hacked. But, um, yeah. After after I hit Tholian up and he gave me some tips on what to do and and what to see like on the emails afterwards, we'll get into that. But as of right now, Slurpachino and Votex are helping me. So basically what happened was me and Naja fill out the form and we're at my house filling out the form. Votex gets on a call with um, the people in YouTube from through um his uh, uh monetization tab the, his YouTube studio tab so he's on the call and he's helping me out and he sends me the link so th this is where you know everybody comes into play to help me and I didn't think I would get this much help and I really appreciate it a lot because I didn't I, I really didn't think I was gonna get my account back to be honest with you I was I was very very like this was like one of those things where it's just like yo what do I do? I'm I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. So, yeah, I I hit up um Tholian. That's when I hit up Tholian afterwards, after we filled out the form, and uh, he just told me to to look in your emails and make sure that everything is coming on time. And I'll tell you what to do, the next steps here from from you know here to there, and yeah a day later i literally i went to sleep I'm, I'm 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 literally up until four in the morning you know texting a youtube supporter i'm up until four in the morning texting a youtube support uh agent or whatever he is yeah he's like a youtube support agent and you know i'm i'm emailing him asking him questions and he's just like oh yeah um just make sure you, you you stay stable and you're good and you know be patient just make sure you're patient I'm like okay and I'm I'm literally just so tired and I didn't even go into work so you know I'm up at four in the morning just waiting on emails and you know he was just like just wait so I, I went to sleep I woke up next morning which was actually today but it's 3 42 a.m. right now as I'm recording this, so basically yesterday, so yeah, yesterday I, I woke up, I didn't get nothing, like I went to work, I did all I needed to do at work, man, I, I got done with work, came home, bro, I literally wanted to leave work so bad, because I'm just like, yo, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, they disabled my account, thank God, they disabled the account, and they told me, hey, um, just make sure you go in your account, and you see what you can do, just answer the questions the best of your ability, a goal in the account um, is asking for my recovery email. He actually hacked, I believe, my recovery email as well. Yeah, in my recovery email, man, I, uh, I, j I, I, I answered the questions as best to my ability as I could, and it just sent to a recovery email, but I couldn't get into my recovery email because I made it when I was like 13, and I don't remember the password or anything to that. So I was like, hey, could I switch the recovery email to the email that I'm in right now? And that's exactly why I was like, I don't think I'll ever get my account back. So they were like, okay, we can do that. And I was like, oh, wow. And I didn't even have my AdSense publisher ID as well, which was another scary thing. But I think they let it slide because 
I mean, it's a really long number. It's just like, it's really, really long. But um, they let me slide, and and I'm very grateful because you know this could have this could have ended up way worse than what it was. I uh, I eventually got back in my account literally not too long ago as I'm recording this. Um, man, I really I'm really happy. I I got to do a lot of things. I had to literally reset my whole entire PC to get everything off just to make sure that you know he didn't hack anything else. So I just made sure I got you know everything off. I deleted all the files and stuff like that. So I think I am good for the most part. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely buying me a security key. I need that very bad because bro, it doesn't matter. It it literally doesn't matter if you got the account. If you got a security key, bro. You're in your account regardless the thing i don't like about the eight digit codes is i believe you can like reload them i don't know if you have a certain amount of time to reload them but you can definitely reload the the eight digit codes which is the like most scariest thing ever because you know um what if you got codes but they reload the codes that they get in your account you know what i mean um but yeah <clears throat> i don't know that 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 was basically it really i just you know i was it was a nerve-wracking thing. I'm glad I got my, my account back. I'm glad that it, it you know, I didn't get no videos deleted. Everything was literally private, and he, he live-streamed. That's really just about it. But, it, you know, it could have been worse. And, I mean, he changed my profile picture, and he changed my um, banner. But, you know, I'm not really tripping on that. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm very, very happy that, you know, I got the opportunity to still um, pursue my YouTube career with you guys. And, you know, it just doesn't end here. You know, we're still going up, and I'm still glad that everybody's here. I think we only lost around, like, 50 subs. It's not really too bad for it to be a two-day span. I can I can definitely understand that. If uh, people unsub, they would think. And I'm glad you guys didn't fall for that scam, whatever scam he was doing. Um, but, yeah. I really appreciate you guys, like, for real, for real. I'm not taking you guys for granted ever. And I'm not taking YouTube for granted as well. Um, yeah, make sure you guys don't as well. Like, you, you don't take YouTube for granted. Uh, but, yeah, that's really, that's all I got. Um, I'm going to try to drop a video eventually. I don't know when. I'll probably drop one either today or tomorrow. It's up to you guys what you guys want. If I don't drop a video today, I'll probably live stream nine times out of ten but i'm i don't know i'm i'm very indecisive but yeah i love you guys peace